Hi everybody, my name is Hori Perutsu and I'm here to teach you about the new IBM blockchain platform extension on VS Code. If you can hear that the audio is much clearer, it's because I got a new microphone, so pretty excited about that. But without further, further ado, let's get started. So now we're going to go into the VS Code um, extensions, and here you'll see that we can search for IBM blockchain platform, if I can spell. Um, yeah, so here it is. I've already installed it, so you just click here, install, and then reload, and then you should be all good and ready to go. Um, just a quick troubleshooting note. Uh, I've seen some problems in the past with um, not, not having the latest version of code installed, so make sure it says something like there are currently no updates available. That's when you know you should be able to um, install this uh, extension. Okay, so go ahead. let's go ahead and use this extension to create a new smart contract. So we'll do Shift-Command-P. That's something that we'll be using very frequently, so go ahead and get uh, used to that. So we'll click on Create Smart Contract Project. And we can go ahead and choose JavaScript. And then our new folder will be Hello World Contract. Uh, okay, so create this, and then we can click Open, and we'll click Add to Workspace. So at this point, we should get our new contract, and it should have some very simple uh, console.log statements in it. So, okay, so now that our um, smart contract has been generated, we can go inside the lib folder, and we can, so now we're inside of my my contract directory that has been generated by the um, IBM blockchain extension. So we can go ahead and go to my GitHub repo. So to find my GitHub repo, just look for horiaperuzzi slash a VS Code tutorial. Um, so inside here, in step two, modifying chain code, um, we'll have this new chain code that I want to use, and we'll paste it into here. The only reason I want to use this is because we have a return statement, and we can show um, an object being returned from this function. Okay, so we've done that. Now let's go ahead and package the smart contract. This is important because this is the only way to install and instantiate on the local fabric network. So we need to do that. So again, shift control P is gonna be your best friend here. And now we'll use shift control P and then package a smart contract project. That's gonna take what's ever in my workspace here and package it. So it has successfully packaged it now. If I click on this uh, little a square icon, that's the IBM blockchain platform icon. And that's where we can see all of our um, uh, smart contracts that has been packaged you can see hello world contract is the one that I have used here and now let's go ahead and um, go ahead and click on this local fabric um, we can go ahead and stop it real quick okay so this is our local fabric connection um, you probably won't have this connection up here um, when you're starting out but this is the one that we're gonna focus on today and right now it's not running right click it and click start and you'll see in the output now that we're starting um, all of our uh, Docker containers. So we're starting a peer, we're starting orderer, and we're starting a certificate authority. And if we go ahead and click on Docker PS, we should see that um, up 10 seconds ago, these are all the Docker containers that have been running, and this is gonna be very useful for us later. So at this point, we can go inside of our local fabric, uh, click on my channel and we can see the peer that's actually running and that's this peer um, fabric peer right here and this is the port for that fabric peer and we can go ahead and right click that peer and then we can install this smart contract so we'll click that now and we're just installing this code onto the peer now and it's going to ask us which one we want to click let's go ahead and click hello world contract um, so we can see here um, we even su successfully installed the contract Next, we want to actually instantiate. So to instantiate, we can right click the channel and then instantiate. And then again, it'll ask us which um, installed contract we want to pick. So we'll pick Hello World contract. And at this point, we'll call one of the functions and we'll call instantiate first. And we will not give any arguments, so we just hit enter. So it'll take a little bit of time and it should give us some sort of um, success once it's done. Okay, so we can see here that we've instantiated the smart contract. So we're looking pretty good so far. Um, one thing we have to do now is we actually have to update the ports so that we can connect to this local fabric network. So um, in our terminal, um, we're going to, uh, just for the sake of keeping this contract folder lightweight, we'll go back into our work directory. So CD. Okay, so for the sake of um, keeping this hello world contract um, just nice and lightweight, we'll create a new folder here. Um, so, and then we'll drag it into the workspace. So we'll do, um, 
what we'll do is we're, we're gonna git clone this directory so this will have a few scripts and some files and key and certificates that you'll need so we'll go ahead and um, do git clone and we'll do that right here and now if we go ahead and add folder to workplace we'll find this VS code local um, so if we look at um, this should be in our work directory VS Code Local Network. We'll bring that into here, and now we have the key, the certificate, the key, and then the most important part is we have this um, script here that will actually take that certificate and that key, and it will um, create a new identity with this um, with this call right here, and that is actually using this npm module called the Fabric Network. And you see here we're we're um, uh, creating an instance uh, here uh, with this wallet. And then we do something like wallet.import, and then we use this um, wallet mixin um, to actually call this create identity function, and we're passing in this, the certificate and the key. So um, let's go ahead and try that. Uh, we have to go into the VS Code. So now that we're in the VS Code local network, now we can do a node add identity. Oh, whoops. So that's a common problem. Uh, it says that a type error file, file system wallet's not a constructor. So at this point, we forgot to run npm install. So if we look in our package.json, we see that this fabric network is a dependency. So let's quickly run npm install to install that dependency. And then we should be able to run the script. So the script is going to um, create this wallet and it's going to create this identity within that wallet. Um, and it's just doing it with that command. So let's run the script now again. And up here we should see this ID wallet, and in here we see that same identity label that we got before, and we have the private and public key for this um, user. Great, so we're looking good so far. Next thing we have to do is actually um, going to have to do with changing our network uh, ports. So in our network.yaml, we have our um, actual uh, URLs where we can connect to the order certificate authority and peer. So the first thing we want to do is we'll uh, make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see, but we'll do that docker ps command again. And now we want to go for the fabric peer. So we see that the peer is at port 32839. So we'll copy that over. We see that this port is different. We're going to update that now. And then we're going to do the same thing for the fabric certificate authority. So we see it's 32836. And then we go to the certificate authority copy and paste this code in and then the last thing we have to do is the orderer we don't want to um, we don't care too much about the couch DB at this point so just the orderer for now and that should be up here and then we update this URL and then we should be all good to go so you can see now the last thing we have to do in our invoke script is um, we are gonna again get that same fabric network um, module and then we're gonna create a wallet and in that wallet we're gonna be looking for this uh, directory here and what we do in the main uh, try catch block is that we go ahead and look for that user one um, identity which we have already created in the previous script and then we actually load that uh, oh, we actually load the connection profile that we've updated this network.yaml file and we actually use that um, connection profile alongside with the wallet and identity to actually connect uh, to the fabric network. So that's what's actually connecting to the network. And then after that, we're actually gonna check for what channel we're on. So we're on my channel as we saw before. And then the contract here is actually different. It's gonna be a hello world uh, contract. Change that hello world contract. Uh, so we have to change this to reference our hello world contract. So we'll do that now. We'll run it, and great, we get the uh, the um, success, and we see that that text that we passed in this hello argument that we passed in, and if we want to change that, we can say new argument, and we should see that um, again. We should see that new argument come up. Great. So yeah, now we've seen that we've submitted a, tra a transaction on the network, um, and everything is working, and now you can kind of um, focus more on the development of your smart contract now that you've gotten all the networking out of the way. So what I've shown you in this video is that um, we've created a new smart contract using this com uh, command p command shift p command. We've uh, created a new smart contract, then we've packaged it. After that, we've installed and instantiated the smart contract, and then we've done a couple networking things um, using a couple scripts to actually connect to the um, fabric network and then actually invoke it. So. 
yeah, that's uh, that's so much. That's pretty much it for the video. Um, all of my um, code, this GitHub, will be linked in the description, and of course, you have the actual tutorial here if you want to follow through a more text tutorial. But I wanted to make a video tutorial to accompany this as well. So again, thanks so much for watching. Horia Perutsu Blockchain out.